do that again. We're back, baby. Do I even know how to film anymore? Wait, if you could tell what I've been doing with my time. Hmm. Got to keep it focused, why don't you say so? Mm. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, because I have not posted in a little bit over a year now, and I'm back. So, I kind of wanted to just do kind of a little bit of an update video. I'm going to do kind of just a get ready with me. I'm not going to talk through it really. Um, I'll leave the products down below if you are interested in what I'm using, but... To be honest, I just feel like if I just jumped right back in it and started vlogging again and, you know, showing you guys my life, you would be a little confused and a little thrown off because unless you know me personally, a lot has changed in a year. And so, um, I just really wanted to update you guys and just chat with you guys and reconnect with you guys because, oh, hello, because I really have missed being on YouTube and... Um, like I said, it's been a little over a year now. A lot has happened, and I, I'm just really excited to get back at it. Um, nothing really drastic happened where I was like, oh, I'm going to stop doing YouTube. Um, just different stuff happened, and I'll explain that in the video. Nothing dramatic. Not going to be any clickbait. I am just so excited to be back. I love doing YouTube. I love social media. I love all of that, and... Um, I always just got the best response out of my YouTube channel, which I'm so thankful for. And if you guys are still subscribed to my channel, if you still are the ones who have asked, like, when am I going to post next? Or are even asking my boyfriend, um, like, hey, when is Macy going to post on YouTube again? Or, you know, stuff like that. Um, thank you so much because that literally means so much to me and gives me so much encouragement and even though there wasn't something that made me stop doing youtube necessarily like in a dramatic way or anything um just hearing those things and hearing you guys still care and want me to post here on youtube it's not just me who really likes posting on here it's also you guys who likes watching them as well um i just really appreciate that and hearing those things really encouraged me to start it back up so without further ado let's get into the video Alright, so like I said, nothing drastic happened where I was like, oh, I'm quitting YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Um, actually, just the truth of the matter is that my camera that I was using was actually my sister's um, camera that she was using as like a second camera for her photography business. And the camera, something on the inside of it messed up. I don't know what it was. It just wasn't reading like the SIM card and stuff anymore. And so I was unable to use it and... To be honest, I just didn't buy another one. I don't know why. I just, for the longest time, I didn't get it fixed. And then when I was going to go get it fixed, I called Best Buy and I asked if they could fix it. And they said because I didn't buy it at Best Buy, of course, they couldn't fix it. Makes sense. Um, but I would have to go to some, like, specialty camera person in Nashville. I was like, oh, do I really want to, like, go to that hassle? Feel me? So... That's why we're here. I actually got a new camera. Um, it's more of like a vlogging camera, which is good for best of both worlds because the camera that I did have, um, if you remember in any vlogs, if, if saying it or anything, it was like a bigger type of camera, more for um, photos or sit down videos compared to like vlogging. And I just really want to vlog more get more into that later but um so this camera i just really like because i feel like it suits what i want my channel to be a lot more so yeah that's why i stopped being on youtube literally just the fact of the matter that my camera stopped working so actually funny story um i moved and i vlogged the whole moving experience like me packing up stuff and me moving <laughs> and everything and I did a little like empty apartment tour and the whole shazam I actually rented a vlog camera that I was testing out to see if I wanted to purchase it or not for the weekend I was like well, let's just vlog the experience and then I went to go and return it 
and I accidentally sent the SIM card back in the camera that I vlogged the whole thing on. So lost all that footage, so didn't get to film there. Um, but it's fine because honestly, I didn't even get a camera um, until like just now. That was back in August when I moved in and I just now got another camera so I feel like it would have been really inconsistent of me to post that video and then like not vlog for a whole other, you know, however many months. So that's where I have been. The reason why I have not posted is honestly just that. Nothing dramatic happened. Nothing crazy. Like, oh, that's why I quit YouTube. It just... I will say, I told you I'm not walking through the process of my makeup. However, um, this is just like a very, very simple makeup look I've been doing here lately. Where if I do anything to put makeup on, this is what I do. It doesn't have any like base, like I'm not wearing foundation or like a BB cream or anything like that. It's strictly just concealer. and. It's kind of given my skin a little bit of a chance to breathe a little bit because I've been struggling with crazy breakouts here lately. I do not know what is happening. I wash my face consistently and everything. This makeup literally takes me a little less than 10 minutes if I'm not obviously talking through it or anything. So yes, I moved. Actually, um, if you remember following along or anything, or if you know me personally, um, I went to community college for two years here in the town that I lived. And so I was still living at home. And then this past August, I moved to Murfreesboro to go to MTSU. So um, I do go there now. Um, I moved into my apartment i have three other roommates so it's always a party not really but <laughs> um but we have a lot of fun and yeah to be honest it's it's been a little bit of an adjustment and i don't want to say that in like a dramatic way because i know people have like these crazy college experiences and stuff but that's just not really like my personality to like go do crazy things where's that brush i have where i am like originally from and the community college that I went to was just extremely small and going from that to moving to a bigger city and then you know going to school at a bigger university is kind of a little bit of an adjustment and I don't want to say that I'm like not adjusting well because I feel like I am for the most part um, it's just kind of hard because I feel like all I do is go to work and go to school and I was talking to one of my roommates my friend Hope um, Which you'll see on this channel. I'm sure eventually but um, And it's like I feel like I would have oh, Sorry, I have my hair. Um, I feel like I would have just such a better experience living up there if like I had the time to be able to just like go explore do like a bunch of these fun things and everything um, and the fact, oh shoot, the fact of the matter is I just don't, and so I here recently have gotten a lot more homesick, and that's just me being honest, like, I could sit here and be like, oh yeah, college, so cool, like, living my life, like, but that's just not the truth, and, um, for the most part, I've enjoyed like the school itself like there's not any bad thing that I have to say about the school or anything like that it's just the fact that I moved from such a small town to such a bigger city in such a bigger school and I'm just trying to figure it out and that's okay because I'm only in my second semester there so I am a junior in school like in college but um this is only my second semester with MTSU so that's the rundown with that um I do want to say that I have so many ideas for just like vlogging and videos in general that I think I'm really really excited about and I think you guys will really like as well um 
like whenever I was at home, not to feel like I was like constricted from any type of like video that I want to do necessarily. It's just now that I like have my own place, my own home and like I have my own like space that I can like vlog throughout and everything. Um, I just have like a lot of ideas and like week in my lives and everything like that right now. I am at home because of this whole coronavirus thing um, and so I am doing all of my schooling online for right now but next semester hopefully I will be back at it and then I can do all these fun video ideas that I have planned. I hope you guys are excited as well. Um, I mentioned earlier that about like how appreciative I am of everybody who still continues to show me support. It really does mean like so much and gives me so much encouragement because like I said, there wasn't anything negative that happened that made me um, quit YouTube. It wasn't like, oh, this person said this or this happened or I felt this way. Um, but just the constant encouragement and like positive feedback that I still get all the time or like you'll tell my boyfriend about it and he'll like tell me about it and things like that just it encouraged me a lot to just get started because I obviously love making YouTube videos and so it's encouraging to know that it's not just me who enjoys making them but you guys also love watching them as well I'm going to try my best to not say um and like a thousand times in this video because I have a really bad habit of that and Whew. Um, yeah, there you go I just kind of want to like rebrand my channel in a way. I just feel like in a year I have obviously grown up and matured like a lot more. Like a lot has happened in a year for me to have to like grow up and kind of just become my own individual and my own like style my own brand like what i'm representing and i just want my channel to really communicate that well like i really want my channel to be a good representation of what i am and not to say that my channel whenever i had it last time didn't do that i just feel like i've grown a lot in the time frame and ooh, I'm gonna try and do this brow gel from afar and hopefully it doesn't get really messy. Um, I have a bad problem with that with brow gels. I just want on my channel for you guys to see, you know, my real personality and my real um like my humor and just the real me and like be able to connect in different ways to different things that I do on my channel. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. Yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on in my life really everything else is basically the same from the last time oh crap this is what i'm talking about I'm getting messy but i just didn't want to like start vlogging in like my apartment and then you guys be like mm, but where is she because that does not look like where she usually vlogged at or you know i mean getting your own place in your own apartment and like moving away is a big deal. I'm running out of things to say. I'm literally going nowhere. Like I'm doing my makeup right now and probably gonna film some TikToks. Maybe take an Instagram picture. And then that'll be about it. <laughs> so I'm really doing this just for the heck of it just to be honest here and i always spray my face with the morphe setting spray and i always do it before mascara and i forgot today so we're just gonna wing it cross my fingers that my mascara doesn't run everywhere now oh i have a bad feeling oh no all right you guys that is it for my update video um and my little makeup routine that i've been doing whenever i kind of just want to throw some makeup on look presentable <laughs> um and it takes less than 10 minutes like i said so above all else i hope you guys are not updated with my life and you're as excited as i am for me to get back on youtube 
And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe because obviously there's lots to come. Um, if you're new here, welcome. It's a good time to subscribe because I'm fresh starting it and I've got a lot of ideas. It's a good time to jump on. And of course, if you're a subscriber that's been here a real minute with me, then you're a real one. And I appreciate it a lot. So I will see you guys in my next video, which will be very, very soon. And yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. And see you in my next one.